Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to fix all kinds of errors with WeFlow and USB Loader GX. So these type of errors that this video will fix are the black screen error, the error saying missing iOS 250, um, some other errors where games are freezing, and all types of errors for those programs. So all of the links are in the description. The first link you will need um, to have installed is this one right here. It's called D2XC iOS. Most of you watching this video will already have this installed because I recommend um, that you install it in most of my Wii tutorials. But if you haven't, I'll leave a link to it in the description. Also for this video, um, you will need a WAD manager. I have a video on that as well. Basically, you will need this because you will need to install the iOS WADs. You will also need this pack. Now this pack pretty much contains um, loads of CIOS WADs that you can install onto your Wii um, basically to fix all of these errors. So all you want to do, you want to go ahead and just click the download button. Um, it's around 50 megabytes zip file, so not too large um, file. Right, so once the zip file has finished downloading, all you want to do is just head over to your PC's download folder. Um, all you want to do from here is just right click the zip file and then choose extract here. It's then just going to ex extract the contents and inside this file right here is just going to be all of the iOS and CIOS WAD files that you can install to fix all types of errors with WeFlow and USB Loader GX. So all you want to do is just copy these folders across to the WADs folder on your Wii's SD card. So to make one, all you want to do is just do right click and then new folder and rename it WADS. So I've got mine right here. I'm literally just going to drag and drop all of these files across. And then that's it. Um, I'm just going to show you guys in my apps folder um, somewhere. Here's my D2XC iOS. So I have that installed. Um, here is my um, multi mod manager and I've also got um, WeFlow in here as well and USB Loader GX somewhere. So yeah guys, that is pretty much all you need on your Wii's SD card. Um, then I'm going to head over to my Wii and I'll show you guys how to install these files. Okay guys, so here's my Wii. I just literally connected my SD card and all I've got here is a USB hard drive connected with a USB 3.0 cable and it's just going into the back USB port. So this hard drive has just got all of my um, Wii WBFS games um, installed onto it. Right guys, so on my Nintendo Wii, the first thing you wanna do is just go ahead and open up the Homebrew channel. From here, you're just going to look for your WAD manager. So you can pretty much choose a WAD manager of any choice, really. If you have a different one which you prefer, um, go ahead and use that. This one right here, multi-mod manager, um, this is the one that I like the most. I know some people have errors with this. So there's another one called Pimp My Wii, um, which is also very good. It's pretty much the same thing. But go ahead and just launch into your WAD manager. From here, you want to use your Wii controller. Um, by the way, guys, if you have Wii Motion Plus, um, disconnect it. And if you have Wii Motion Plus built into your controller, then also disconnect it because it probably won't work with this program. So just scroll down and then press A to go into the WAD manager. You then want to just scroll down until you get to your WADs folder. Just press A to open it. Right guys, so these are all of the WADs right here and all you want to do is just press 1 to install every single WAD in this folder. So you can't brick your Wii with this. It's always a good idea to have um, Boot Me installed just in case you do brick your Wii, you can always fix it. So I'm just going to go ahead and press 1. So it's gonna, then going to select all of them and it's going to say selected 25 for installation. So you just want to, actually it's probably going to say 24, it's just because I've got an extra game in here. But just press A to proceed. No guys, it's going to do installing one of 25. You must let this complete. Um, if it says an OK message um, next to the program, then it pretty much means it's installed it successfully and you won't have any issues. Right guys, once it's done, it's going to say, um, pretty. hopefully it's say OK on all of them for you, but it's going to say press any button to continue. So I'm just going to go ahead and press the A button. As you can see, we're now back out to the main menu. All you want to do is just press B and then press B again. And then just press the home button on your Wii remote to exit. 
So just wait for it to exit back to the homebrew menu. And then guys, you can go ahead and launch a program of your choice. So I'm just gonna go ahead and launch USB Loader GX. So if you were getting an error on this screen before, hopefully that would have now been bypassed. I can now go ahead and test any game I want. Um, let's go for Super Smash Bros Brawl. So as you can see, I can boot into it without any issues at all. Quite a few people said they have um, a black screen when booting into a game. So hopefully this will fix your issue as now pretty much all um, CIOS files are installed or all of the main ones that you need to run games on. So now I'm just going to go ahead and try the exact same thing with Wii Flow. So I'm just going to back out to their Wii menu and then go to the homebrew menu. Okay guys, so I'm on Wii Flow right now. Um, I haven't installed any of the covers yet, but let me just go ahead and show you guys that this works. So um, Call of Duty Black Ops, let's just load into that. And there you go guys, that is how you fix pretty much every error with USB Loader GX and Wii Flow. If there's any other errors you encountered, let me know in the um, comments section. So that's pretty much it for this video. So if you guys enjoyed, make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.